Hello YouTube, welcome back to Factorio, Bobs and Angels Land Edition, episode 35. In this episode, I try not to destroy another crawler. We continue on fixing and teching our science, and... We probably kill our power grid with our plasma turrets. Probably, can't confirm. But I have a sneaking suspicion. Still a little bit sad about that crawler. Just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. We can make new crawlers every day. Just kind of had a lot of stuff in it. I'm going to make just a couple more of these guys. And then I'm also going to make some fluid burning boilers. And some turbines to go with it. I think these guys use... Uh, I don't know. I don't actually know what they use. Maybe they use steam engines. We'll see. I could try and get the uh, fuel oil and such as burning to actually turn into power. Because, why not? We're just wasting it right now, so I might as well try and use it. It might use a burner heat source as well. I'm not sure. We will find out. I've never done this before. It's a new building for me. Could make a bunch of accumulators too, but uh, that would fix the problem with the gun shooting. Which looks like it uh, <laughs> deleted some biters over there. Interesting. Interesting. And then we'll probably flare up our iron a little bit more. We should be able to get the next tech going as well. Get the leaching plants going now. We have brass, so we should be able to make brass pipes. So maybe we'll grab some brass for a second, make some brass pipes. We're just kind of hanging out. Trying to figure out what is going on down there. So we're looking for brass and brass pipes. Where are the brass at? Do we never actually set up the brass? So we made the zinc. But I don't think we ever actually set up the brass. Ooh. That needs a gun right there. Um... So zinc was where? Zinc is right over here. I guess we never actually set it up. We never went all the way ahead and finished that. So here's our zinc. And our zinc runs nowhere. Hmm. And I don't have enough underground belts to kind of weave it in anywhere either. Whose fault is this? Find a warehouse. This would uh, fix the problem. That's a train. Okay, let's go dump uh, a couple of these plasma turrets down quickly. On the line there. I'll take a train there. It'll be faster. Before it actually kills me. So we lost a turret right... Not actually sure where that happens. So that looks good there. What about down here? So where was that last attack? Where were you? It should be uh, only a single wall. It might have been there. I don't think it was there, though. I think it was a bit more vicious of an attack. It was right here, where you want to be. I think that's right here. Up here is okay. It has a plasma turret now defending there. But we want to be right here. It's right on the other side of these flotation cells. This is where I want to go. So we're just a little bit high right now. We need to go a little bit lower down. But I can place that here instead. So that has a pretty big arc of fire there. That looks good. This is our base defense 2.0 now. See, I almost killed the sniper turret. It's really too bad. We can't have our sniper turret dying on us. I don't have any walls. I'm pretty sure my uh, crawler had a lot of walls in it. Poor crawler. 
There we go. I got some more sniper turrets there. I think I, I should might as well place this one down too. And I would fix it, but I don't have any repair packs. Can I make a repair pack? Sure can. So we are still missing one wall there. Easily fixable. And I can put one more plasma turret down. The arcs of fire are giant again. So now if we look at our arcs of fire, we've got these huge secondary arcs. Kind of curious to see this attack happen here. I want to see this attack. There's a lot of them. What is the actual damage of the turret here? The actual dirt damage is 300 plus 210 plasma, 180 plus 126 electric, 120 plus 84 explosion. So, a lot. Pretty much no biter can survive that hit. No single biter anyways. I'm bring these walls down here a bit more. Protect our plasma turret a bit more. We're just waiting on the mini map for that attack to happen. I don't want to miss it. It's gonna be it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. I could bait the attack too, but where's the fun in that? So we should have two plasma turrets defending. How bad is our pollution? <laughs> yeah. The only reason why the pollution is sort of stopping over here is because it's being eaten so much. It's okay, we got a pollution absorption there. I'm gonna keep an eye on the minimap there. Keep a close eye on the minimap. So here I'm missing a bit of iron, that's okay. Not really super surprised on that. Uh, Sue, grab that, that. So I want to go back to iron here for a second. Just hope they don't attack while I'm doing this. So we're going to look at iron ore here. I'm going to go craft. So we've crushed satellite. Also comes from the crystals, which is a leaching plant. So it's going to give us three. So actually that's going to give us a... What is the the current the chunk? The chunk gives us two, so doing the next step will actually increase our yield by one more, which is huge. I'm still waiting for that attack. How much iron is left down here? Six point eight million. There's tons. There's plenty. How big of an attack? Like that's a pretty. Pretty substantial attack force there, and that's why the yellow ammo is no longer able to deal with them. The game even lagged a second there. Look at this. <laughs> that can't even stop them either. Wow. And I just deleted the walls. That's why we didn't want anything in range. Okay, so it's quite a bit better. Doesn't matter if they're bigger either, they still die to that. Okay, let's go get this next leaching plant up and running. This will be a pretty big boost to the factory. It'll be giving us one more iron ore for each one of those. This also should start pulling less ammo. So this is was brought up in the comments that this is slowing me down a bit. Kind of. I believe is what was being referred to. Whole belt is slow, so not actually even sure where this comes from. Where are you from, sir? Okay. 
think this was a original belt kind of repurposed to make it work again. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if I do that. We're teching still so fast. We do have the next tech up as well, so I could start doing stuff like this. It only needs 10. Just 10, eh? That's so small. I believe in a normal vanilla, that's 200 or something. Um, yeah, it's a very, very small amount of that. Very, very tiny amounts. This is all jammed up here because we have too much lead. Too much lead. We have a whole warehouse full of ingots too. Hmm. 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 This is where this comes in handy. What do you want to use lead for? So lead makes solder, it makes molten lead, it makes molten brass. Um, zinc, copper. So we can't even do it yet though. Where are you hiding here? Lead. Lead, lead, lead. So for some reason we can't do that recipe. It's still uh, redded out. And lead powder. Lead powder is used for what? Lead powder is used for nothing. It's not even a recipe anymore. So there really is only two uses for it. Solder. And brass, but I can't do this tech yet. Because advanced brass smelting is hiding behind that. So maybe that's what we do next, but... I feel like that requires a building I won't be able to build. So I think I just do a container full of lead for now. And then I can dump it if I need to. I'm sure the environment would approve. <laughs> it's 200,000 it's going to take now. It's just we don't really have a huge use for it. Just solder right now. That's the only thing we're using it for. That's why your ores start backing up really bad on you when you just have one item that has one use. Um, I do have logistics trash slots, so I can actually dump some stuff there right now. Instead of just dumping all this garbage on the ground. That might be the first use for me to get logistics bots, just to clean my inventory. That might be one of the best uses for the, the best uses for the bots. Inventory cleaning. And I need this to go right over there somewhere. Right to there. Look, we're being productive. Two episodes in a row of being productive. It's an achievement. This will make brass, right? Making some brass. Is that lined up? Oh, I think so. Um, we want whatever one takes the most. That's 18, 6, 6. It's going to make 360. It's going to make 240. Um, I want whatever uses the most zinc. Let's use 12 zinc. Here we use fancy inserters to do fancy things. <laughs> uh, love these inserters. And then this one can go long. And yeah, there you go. Hope you're happy. We need some pipes. Yeah, we can make some brass plates. Don't need a ton of it. I don't think. Maybe we do. This is unknown to me at this point if we need a ton of it or not. So, we'll fill a warehouse. <laughs> this is the answer to everything. 
Where is our silo? Let me just do silo. Been using silos for everything else. Just need some stone bricks here quickly. Stone brick and some steel. So this needs to flare up a little bit on me. Fanatic boards. I think it's a wood thing. I've done so much tech though, it's uh not surprising some things are running out. This factory just keeps going and going and going. Never really turned off. We don't really let it turn off. It's had a few little little episodes here and there, but uh we emptied the chest, deleted the resources, and moved on. No stopping. It's like there, I'm not really sure why that's slow. So I'll we'll have to look into that at some point. Here we can do this. That can go there. These don't have any inserters yet, so it's not really doing anything. I'm not sure if this could even ever keep up, but that's okay. Again, I'm not sure how much of this I even ever really need, so I go like that. I do need a bunch for myself at first to make some pipes. That's a lot of pipes. How many does a building need? 12 per, and we're making 100. Yeah, we're making more than 10. That's okay. Probably stack a lot up to 100. Better to have more than not enough. Those boards are made over here. What's their problem? They're missing resin. Resin's missing wood. Wood's missing trees. Greenhouses are not too slow. So that's pretty easily boosted too. That's a problem I want to see. I want to start seeing problems like that. So a building that you haven't really set up for a while, this is kind of doing its thing, and it kind of stops working. That's like a that's a good problem, in my opinion. Because we set that up probably 20 episodes ago now, and now it's just starting to slow down. Or not keep up, rather. So that's exactly the type of thing you should see your factory eventually backlogging on. Grab that. Ooh, look at that. That is what I want to see there too. And I need to make some greenhouses first. So 23, that's a good amount. And then we're going to jump into these guys. And those need aluminum and those circuit boards. We, we have a ton of circuit boards too. So we're doing okay. Things are happening. I'm going to grab 200 of these. We should stack in 200. Cannot insert. I want that. Don't need that. Mm, keep that. Don't need mud. So this is a pretty big buffer line. I'd be curious to see how much is actually on a line like that. And I just gotta grab some aluminum now. And then we'll go boost our wood supply. But that's what you want to see start failing on your factory. So that makes me very happy. The plastic, uh, a little less. But we kind of know what the problem with the plastic is too. It just doesn't have enough um, refineries. So... Aluminum. Or aluminium. Where are you hiding? This cliff. <laughs> this cliff. Should have blown it up a long time ago. 63 thousand aluminum okay so aluminum's doing okay it's buffered for a while 10 of those that's figured i can make maybe one or two more of those might as well make a bunch that way i don't have to come back and make more mm -hmm. so what am i missing here just the concrete blocks still got run over by train good i keep ripping that mine out every time i walk past And a little bit more. So now we're making our greenhouses. We're gonna go make some more greenhouses. Let me check power for a sec. Power's okay still. These big huge cannons haven't destroyed our power grid. So blue is my slow science still. That's fine with me. 
Blue's allowed to be slow. Greenhouse is above me, not below. How many do we have right now? We have 19, so I could double my production right now, quickly. Dubla. I'll uh, we'll do an even number. But I could put one more right there. So that's good there. I'm gonna upgrade all these belts. So the trees get pushed around a bit faster, or the seedlings rather. Because I now need the seedling belts to go up as well. Seedling belt will be right there. That's good. So two belts. I won't make it do a loop-de-loop -loop this time. It's kind of easier to watch it this way. I'm going to need a water pump. Uh, maybe not. I'm not sure how much water this really needs. How much water does it take to grow a tree? Can't be that much, can it? That can go there. We did finish our tech. That's great. Advanced steel casting. Sure, whatever. Just keep smashing all these techs out of the way. Nuclear reactor, 800. Uh, no. I'll do everything other than that. Laser turrets. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? So every second one, I'm going to put a power line and see if this works. I'm not sure if this will actually work, the power setup. Each building might need its own. find out in a minute. We'll have an offload belt. Offload's gonna go long. This is where bots would really come in handy. But bots don't really uh, work with my playstyle super great. They help in a few things, but they don't help in a lot of things. So it really murders the line at the beginning there. This will actually even help doing this. Because now when I place the inserters, it'll know it's a long one or a short one. I think that's a bit faster. Okay. And they're all backwards. Every single one. <laughs> I was like, yes, I did it. Look how smooth I made that look. Nope. All backwards. Okay, so grab, drop. I'm sure how I did that. Grab and rotate, drop. That was right. Wow, so dyslexic right now. So you're the grab. The grab is on the left side. Can't even tell. It's like kinda, need more caffeine. Okay, so they're all going super slowly. Super slowly. It's just a slow craft. This is known. I'm not surprised it's a slow craft. I knew this was a very slow craft. But we'll see if this will keep up now. So we did essentially double our current production. And that's going to boost our resins. Uh, put those there. I feel like I still need more greenhouses. I can do another 22. Another batch of them. I think the seedlings are fine, though. That's good. Uh, I got underground hiding here somewhere. Sure do. Okay. 
put them right there. It's the hardest thing with this setup is the inserters, obviously. Everything else is pretty simple. Pretty simple setup. Not sure if the current power grid can handle what I'm about to do, or the uh, the water can handle what I'm about to do here, but we'll find out pretty quickly. So you're gonna go there. This line's gonna get pushed up a bit. I'm just gonna kick you up one. This can stay this way, I guess. As soon as that last board leaves, we'll veer it straight, and we'll go to there. So these guys are gonna pick up from the side. They're gonna pick up long, and we'll drop close. That was so much easier. because I did the power lines wrong. <laughs> Had to do something wrong. <sighs> Heavy. So, such concentration there. Such concentration. Okay. Got some more power lines coming. I might as well just handcraft the power lines and get this finished. This one here is going to be a bit special. It's going to grab, going to drop there and grab right next to it. You're special. And they're all going to grab right on top of themselves. And dump long. Yeah, I don't think uh, copying it's really faster for me. The blueprints. It feels cleaner, but it slows me down quite a bit. So let's go like that. There we go. Can I make one more greenhouse? Uh, I need a couple, five, four more iron plates. I can make one more greenhouse. Then I should have enough wood. Should have pretty boosted this a lot. Pretty boosted this a lot. My English is spot on right now. Uh, so we got one more. Not sure how this does to the power grid. That's good. Okay. So we added a lot to our production there. Exponentially boosted it. So we had. 20, now we have 60. Five. The biter should thank us. Saving the environment. Uh, that looks good, that looks good. These trees are coming out now. Resin's able to work full tilt, it looks like. And the boards are coming out a lot faster. Okay, good. Good. Problem there. Salt. Let's go uh, dump some of these washing plants down now. I know these washing plants require a fluid input as well. The leaching plants. I'm not sure what they actually require. Here's an attack. So many. No wonder the uh, turrets are having a hard time. But that's really going to help my ammo. My ammo is going to be great now. It's these leaching plants. So the leaching actually comes before the ore sorting. Um, they need sulfuric acid. So now is when I start dumping that wastewater, I need to question my sanity because I'm going to require a lot of sulfuric acid here. 
And I'm not sure if my current supply will be able to keep up with me dumping what I'm dumping. So if I start running out, we need to adjust. The sulfur gas is right down here. I can pull it across. We have a pretty good amount of it right now, so I should be able to deal with this. Initial setup anyways. It's going to be a forever pull, so... When I try and set things up, I try and see what type of a item pull it's going to be. And this is going to be pulling forever. So it needs a pretty steady supply. Some things are just kind of a for your own build items or for science is typically one I worry a lot about to make sure it can actually be upscaled. This is a forever item because you forever need ore, especially iron. So I'm going to be a little more careful with the liquids and stuff that's get puts in that gets put into a building like this and make sure I can uh, accommodate it if that makes sense. I'm sure everyone has a resource they're a little more hesitant to just spam out. In other words, I know I need a lot of it and can I keep up? TLDR. Too long, it didn't listen. I do recall in my last Bob's and Angels playthrough, I skipped the leeching of some materials. Not everything got leached. Not everything got set up into advanced or mode. Quite a bit did, but not everything. I could be mistaken, but I do believe that's what happened. So on the inside, I'm gonna run up power lines again. Those my inserters. Inserters are also bad too. Don't have enough inserters, don't have enough anything. So I can redirect all of these ores. I like what ores? All of these ores over here now. I can boost that too in a second. And these are all going to go in to my leaching plants. set up to be able to accommodate a lot of resources. Hey, a lot of resources. Dump that like that. So now we have better iron yield coming out here. This needs to get pushed right up in the top there. I'm gonna go top or bottom. I think if I can sneak it up there is best. Let's see if we can do that. I think I can. If we try this. Ooh. Can we do it? I think we can. Okay, and these are going to get switched recipes to... Oh, I need the ore sorted facility too. This can't even handle it. And we get titanium out now. Some David Geta in here. So we have one setup going. The rest is getting pushed back up. That's okay. Um, we need more sorting though. So titanium has no place right now in our factory. It's actually really awesome. I'm getting titanium right now. It's gonna come up over here. Um, 
I think I just warehouse it right now, just to keep everything working. And this should be titanium. Right now it's just everything. Okay, there we go. So only titanium is going to go up there. So copper gets that push out first, then the... There should be ore coming down here too. This line not working. What's coming? It's just slow. I guess I did disconnect everything for a second, so that's fine. Good, good, good. Don't panic. Don't panic. Um, so we need ore sorting facilities too. Steel, steel, and brick. So brick is down here. I'll grab some steel before I go down. Through pipe central here. Ugh. Can't go through anywhere here. <laughs> this place is the worst. This is the worst. It's definitely one of my least favorite areas in the factory to traverse. How much steel is that? Uh, it's about 200 steel. That should be enough. I'll get a few of those. How many crushers do I have? I still have quite a few crushers on me. And I have this too. I never set this up yet. Still needs water. I guess you need water for steam. That would make sense. I have water right here. How many pipes? Okay, getting distracted. <laughs> Go back. Grab our bricks first. Let's grab our bricks here. So I can make one. One. We'll make a uh, few more in a second here, though. I just need uh, those basic circuits, which are right above me. Then I'm gonna come right back down here and do that. I don't have pipes on me to do it properly right now. And now I do. Okay, let's do this for a second. Fluid burning engine. <clears throat> So, it needs to be after the flare stack. Not sure this will work. I actually have no idea if this will work. Okay, so they're taking that. That's working. We're not ever going to do NAFTA. And then they go into a steam engine. Because that's how steam engines work. Oh man. And then. And then we can do a flare off valve. So it's going to take all that first, and then it, this is able to grab that with a flare-out valve right here. But we need water. I don't know if I love it or hate it. So there's still no water. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of torn. Not sure if I love that or hate that. That's, uh... That's special. I feel like I should be able to do that with the base mineral oil here as well. I'm just gonna grab the base mineral oil line and do the same thing. It's, uh... Yeah, I don't know. We are using more resources, but at what cost? At what cost? Hmm. Just need to be able to sneak that in there somehow. So we need it to be over after the overflow valve. That won't go here. Can do this. We can do this. Could go there, but then again, the steam is an issue. Um, I could chain the steam, I guess. Like people do with the nuclear setup. 
So we're gonna go there, and then we'll have the flare off valve right behind that. We'll give it even one more space, that way this guy does get priority. It's priority on the fluids. It's kind of why it's set up like that. And I need a water line. If they're sitting right next to each other, they're kind of sharing the fluid still. So that flare stack might steal the resources before this can get it. This goes there, and then we'll have a chain of these. I actually don't know if this works. <laughs> Mostly because no one in their sane mind does this. I think it will work, but it's just kind of gross. So the steam will get put in that pipe there. And the excess just gets flared off. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe they can't burn base mineral oil. I don't know. <laughs> Spent way too much time doing that. Uh, that's what happened there. Um, we got one of those. I need a few more of those. That's what we came down here for. Does it work? Who knows? Should it work? Probably not. Okay, we're looking for circuits. Where do circuits at? This should be a chest up here full of them. We flare so much off in this factory. So, I do have a fair amount still, that's good. That worried me for a second. Basic circuit boards are not good. They're made on the other side of the factory. We're now running into lots of issues, which is great. Problem solving. And tech is still flying off the shelf, so... No worries there. Not sure what happened there, but... He did what he had to do. Our two solar panels are still making us proud. Blue is still a bit slow, but we still have quite a few labs running. Um... I feel like there's just an issue with the basic circuit boards at this point. Yep. Yep. We shall fix that. Just have a belt going the wrong way, no big deal. That's a problem when you do a thousand underground replacements. You don't see the air until something's backed up on you, but we found that pretty fast, so that's good. Need a few more inserters. Um, we have two of those. I want one more, I think. Get some stone bricks. Those are in stone bricks. Oh. So he had range of that right there. This guy hit right here and it blew that turret up. <laughs> hey. Angry. Poor turret. Kill more of my own factory at those things. Here's our ore sorting facility. MK2. And that is doing off of our leaching plants. Which is great. That was a burner, I believe. So I think the next step, next episode, is we're going to get more iron up over here. So these guys can produce a bit more for me. This guy here. I sincerely doubt they'll be able to keep up. Even with the amount that we have. So this one right here needs to get replaced. Oil pressing for plants? Sure. Tank. Finally, tank? Uh, I want a mammoth tank, though. I don't want a tank. We want a mammoth tank. Blue alien artifacts. So you start making, like, <laughs> alien techs. This gets really complicated really fast. 
Centrifuge, advanced chemistry. Uh, we don't have green science yet. How far is the rocket away? What am I rocket hiding? Rocket silo. This rocket silo is only a few techs really behind us, looks like. Purple. We have that science. I really don't think we're that far behind anymore on the rocket. Could do this. Yeah. We're getting there. That's for sure. Leeching is leeching. This should not be able to keep up. But look at that. Titanium, too. It's nice. This turret rises 300 kills. <laughs> This guy gets 300 kills already. Doing good work. Doing good work there. But yeah, I think we'll stop the episode there now that we've got some titanium up and running. My turret blew up some of my own stuff to fix some of our problems. Uh, we got Greenhouse City now. Like, we're doing good. I think we're doing good. Things are happening. Still need more resin, but... Uh, these are just too slow now. This whole setup is too slow. These can't even offload anymore. So, yeah. It's good. Happy. I'm happy with the progress so far. So, yeah, if you enjoyed that episode, throw a like in the comment. Like in the comments, yes. Like the comments. <laughs> and until next episode, this is Yamakar. Ciao for now.